Are you ready to go on the adventure of a lifetime? Too hot to handle. I decided I wanted to look into one of these really popular but very bad dating shows and watch the entirety of it and give you guys a brief synopsis. I watched this so you didn't have to, kind of like what everybody else does. And had to resist sex. Could you? Hell no. So the video starts out, it's already cringy as hell because, oh, you're gonna be on an island, but in, in order to win this money, you can't do anything uh, out here on this island. Anything provocative, you're not allowed to do. Oh my God, that, that would hurt so bad. Oh man, I can't do anything so I can win $100,000. I'm, I'm gonna be winning every time. <laughs> For time's sake and simplicity's sake, just so that way we don't have to sit here forever, I'm gonna go ahead and explain all the characters to you so that way we don't have to just sit here because it takes them about 20 freaking minutes to explain all the characters. Let's go ahead and go down the list. Chloe, she's British. She's not very smart. She's incredibly horny. Um, she's scattered brain, like, you, you know, she has the squirrel moments. Uh, yeah, she's she's one of those. <laughs> she seems fun to be around though. She is pretty outgoing and she wants to be really involved in stuff. And so yeah, Chloe, Chloe is pretty well like she she's she's cool. She's cool in my book. Next one is Sharon. Uh, Sharon. Uh, I don't know exactly how you say. It. He is basically a feminist, I guess. Uh, he he says he is anyway. Uh, which, which there's nothing wrong with that. But, I mean, he really, really respects women. He has the fedora and everything. He's he's a pretty nice guy. Um, he, he is a Christian Mingle superstar. <laughs> and then he also uses an air freshener, air freshener to measure his penis. Can you imagine someone just getting like, oh, here. So, can you imagine someone using dial men right here as a measurement for their penis? Like, oh, oh we're, we're going to start down here and then... Wait, wait, re really? Haley is a Florida girl, um, so you could already tell how this is going to go. Like, it's it's gonna go bananas. She's ditzy like Chloe, so of course, I mean, the, the, the elephant in the room is probably directly in plain sight. And she's really into her sorority. Uh, she does some chants, uh, especially here in the beginning, um, talking about like, you know, <laughs> You, you, you know, like, uh, oh, so happy. Oh, so happy. Fun blonde. Harry's an Australian man. Um, crikey, you know, down under. Uh, yeah, he's, he, that, that's who he is. Uh, he really likes dirty talk. He cannot close his mouth. Like, every time you see him. In fact, you, you, you know what? Here's a good representation. We're only 35 seconds into the goddamn episode and he's already got his mouth wide the fuck open. He won't shut his goddamn mouth. He is so, he he drives me up the wall. He he is so annoying. And he, he <laughs> just look at that face. Um, He's cringe as hell and he's really into himself and just, yeah. That, that, that's basically who Harry is. Um, David, he's a, a, a British fellow. He has a hashtag of love is a sex party um um he seems to not really own any shirts because every time that you look at him he's always got his shirt off like he always has to take his shirts off if someone gives him a shirt he's just like no no keep that vile piece of cloth away from me no i go shirtless bitch um he hasn't slept with as many women at oh okay <laughs> Th this was funny <laughs> Okay, so th there's this funny thing uh, about whenever people tweet stuff online. People tweet stuff and they're just like, oh, you know, I have some sensitive information that will bring this company down to the ground, but I cannot release it because it is just too much for me to handle. Well, that's kind of what he does. He, he says he hasn't slept with as many women as you think, but he won't tell you because he's nervous. <laughs> <laughs> they all think they're on a holiday whenever they <laughs> come to this freaking island and they think that oh you know every, everything is great everything is wonderful it, it, it's it's all fantastic we're gonna be with some gorgeous people everybody's gonna be so horny like it, it's gonna be great but they don't realize what they're actually in for oh, shit. Oh, oh, no. what up you doing, little possum? <laughs> By the way, they all have that same kind of energy as well. Like every time a beautiful person would come out, they're just like, oh, 
oh, like freaking out about it because it's just like, oh my God, you have never seen, have they ever come in, in, in contact with someone who they don't think is hot? Because I would really like to see the reaction there. Like, do, do they actually sit there and cringe? Like, oh my God, you weigh d 10 more pounds than me. Oh, get away. Anyway, Francesca, Francesca here. Uh, she's the hottest one there, basically. Like, she, she's not bad looking. I, I think that, you know, minus her interesting know. personality that you'll be able to see in some parts of the show, at least here in the beginning. I, I, I wish her personality would be a little bit better, but she's the hottest one there. She's the hashtag selfie girl. You know, let me take a selfie. You know, the hip song that was playing Matthew he's from Colorado so of course you know he's got he's got the OG good good he's smoking on that good shit boy he says he's got swag you, you know he, he seems pretty chill everybody keeps referring to him as Jesus for some reason however I don't know why moist critical is the only Jesus that's on YouTube guys come on but everybody thinks that he's passionate about what he's wanting from this island here and I, I, I don't know like for some reason people just like they, they, they just can't get his get their eyes off of him and also he falls in love with fake Siri which we'll get into fake Siri here in just a little bit Nicole she's Irish she's a nun the lads that I've been dating within like three dates they tell me that they're like falling for me and then I'm like ew no then I just give them the snip <laughs> She seems like a very classy lady right here. Um, the announcer who keeps going through here, by the way, is also incredibly horny. I, I, I think that the announcer should have been involved in this show as well because everything that they say off camera, they're just like, mm, damn, you go girl. Mm. And of course, I cannot forget about Kells. Kells is a huge dude. He is big. He's like, he's brawn. He's freaking um what's that dude from uh, teen titan cyborg he he thinks that he's going to get with whoever he wants like it, it's inevitable he's he's the alpha he's the king of the jungle he seems like he's friends with andrew tate for some reason i, I don't know like the guests however are trying to figure out who they're going to be sleeping with first they're just like hmm i'm gonna pick you and you and you and then david now I'm just like ready to just jump on like a baby cheetah and just grab a hold of one of them and just pull them into my web, you know? Apparently, Chloe wants to peg Harry. And honestly, at this point, whenever you guys start like learning about Harry a little bit in this TV show, I, I think I would be down for that. I would want her to peg Harry. I don't even want to see it. I just want to know that it happened just so that way he can deal with it. I wonder if Meghan Markle ever said that. <laughs> Harry is just... He's tall, like six five tall. Oh my god! Yeah, Harry caught my eye straight away. <laughs> she, she, Chloe, Chloe is. She, she is so weird. She, she is a very interesting character. Every time that they do a transition, everyone's just like, or, or, like, like. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has like some stupid the ass face they do during the transition. I haven't seen Jesus' body yet, but I probably would like it too, to be honest. So, come and get it. <laughs> and, and see, 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 that, 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 that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. The dude can't keep his goddamn mouth shut. Like, Harry is always just like. Sharon is comparing everyone to flavors. Uh, another Jesus reference to Colorado dude. Uh, and nothing interesting really happens. They just kind of like get acquainted with everyone. Oh shit! What? We got oh! <laughs> yeah, make it rain. Make it rain. The condoms. Everyone wants to play with the condoms. Yeah, we're ma making it rain. Woo! <laughs> Like it, it is so wild. Everyone, it, they, they they act like teenagers whenever they're going to like a campsite for the weekend, and everyone's just like, guys, we could probably get away with having sex out here. Everyone is trying to get with everybody at this point, and then finally, we get to the next section where they actually get the bomb dropped on them that they cannot have sex. We're a beautiful girls, lady. Always, girls always take the longest, isn't it? Always, bro. But I feel like every girl you sleep with falls in love with you. Uh, <laughs> I, well, I can't have that problem because I give them boyfriend dick and then it's just what? like... What's boyfriend dick? 
so it's not too big, not too small, just perfect, looks pretty. They're literally just like, yep, this is my boyfriend. It's just the right size. Like, so you're saying that girls fall in love with you because they go, well, that's maintainable. Yeah, yeah. It. Harry is the maintainable dude. <laughs> he is so stupid. It's time to go. Oh, shit. Hi, I'm your virtual guide. Hey, Siri. Oh, hey. <laughs> Uh, hey Siri! <laughs> another another Siri joke. Oh my God, that is so fantastic. In the last twelve hours, I have been observing you and learning about your behavior. It has been most insightful. Jesus, here we go. This calls for tension music. Is this not like freaking you out? Is anyone else gonna fucking puke? <laughs> By the way, uh, the Siri also likes to sit there and make everything suspenseful and just be like, okay, but there's some stipulations and then sit there for two hours. You will have to abstain from sexual practices for the entirety of your stay. Ah! I don't know a single man that's gone in a month. Hey, 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 so now episode two rolls around and everybody is pretty well understanding that well they can't do anything they really want to they want to so bad they can't hold it back anymore their their loins are just just they're grabbing a hold of them and they're saying come on your dick wants to be in her especially harry 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 cannot get himself under control at all when Jesus is around. Obviously last night's rules were a bit of a kick to the nuts. Me and Francesca just cuddled and had a bit of pillow talk. But today I couldn't give two shits about Lana's rules. I'm a rule breaker. Francesca's a naughty little possum. And all I want to do is some naughty things to her. It, he, he is... <sighs> this dude he he gives no shits about getting the hundred thousand dollars or actually trying to make a meaningful relationship while on this island he's just like i don't care i don't care i'm gonna do it i'm 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 getting laid today francesca you're mine i don't care about what the money is i don't care if it's going to screw everyone else over you and you and me i, I got gotcha. you <laughs> the cuddles and the snuggles are all legal but kissing self-gratification yeah it, harry <laughs> would you stop already god damn this dude is so goddamn thirsty he won't stop now he's touching his own titty yeah they might as well take these damn condoms out yeah get them out they've Thank got you. like flavored ones banana you ever tried one i'm bubble gum which one do you want to try no suck it and see what it tastes like why are you oh that tastes like banana it does, yeah. Imagine a banana flavored condom tasting like banana. That's so freaking wild. I hate to tell tales, but Lana, are you getting this? Oh my god, they kissed. And Lana is picking up all of it. No, no, how could they? Ah. Pretty much broken the first rule, so if I can take a couple minutes of your time today. You, you know what? We, we've already messed up. We might as well just have sex at this point. Just, just like, okay, look. Look, I kissed you. We're going to lose money because of that. So let's make it worse. And then nothing really interesting is going on. Matt wants to uh, screw the Siri box. And Harry and Francesca don't really see eye to eye because she finds out that Harry was telling everybody in the boys group that she basically kissed him. And he, he really crossed the line with her and she was so upset holy shit yeah so i don't know like he doesn't even seem to care he's like i don't care anymore like we should just fuck is that what you want to do i don't know you just cost me three holidays three nights in the resort she kissed me she kissed me she kissed me in the heat of the moment i've told the boys that Francesca's actually kissed me. Well, yeah, because you, you don't want to have accountability for anything that you did. Yeah, good job. Good job, buddy. <laughs> and now everybody is upset because now they're coming to the conclusion that someone had done something and that's why that the cone is there. And so now they're just wanting someone to fess up to it. I mean, do you want to tell them or do you want me to tell them? What are we telling them? When we are over there. What? It, like, we both, like... 
we both kissed, like... Bloody hell! The rule break has cost $3,000. Oh, three grand! That's, that's like a week in Dubai. Fuck's sake. Very expensive kiss. I mean, you can go to Amsterdam and get... <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I know what he was talking about, what you get from Amsterdam, and that that's kind of funny. <laughs> that That's hilarious. Yo, I could fuck you over so hard right now by saying something that you said to me. Why don't you just say it then? Everything has to be out in the open. You kissed me, I didn't kiss you. You said, why don't we just go fuck now, because money doesn't matter. That didn't happen. That happened. I don't know what just happened. I don't even know, I don't even know what I said, I was under pressure. Dude, dude. <laughs> What a pussy boy. Are you serious? Th that That is so stupid. Like, I don't want to get in trouble with the, the, the boys. The boys are on my side. So, like, I got to come up with a lie real quick. And so I'm just going to say, like, I was under pressure. Harry, shut the hell up, dude. You are so stupid. And guess what? Everyone believed him. Everyone believed every word that he said. She decides to get revenge on him with another person in the house. Hello, mate. Revenge is a dish best served hot. Episode three, everything gets bizarre. E everybody is getting really tense. Everybody is having a lot of, you know, mixed emotions about everything. Um, people are getting blue balls left and right because of course nobody is able to have sex. So Francesca wants to cause a whole bunch of drama between everybody in the house because she's pissed off that nobody wanted to believe her. And it, Haley just keeps saying things that just hurt my brain, dude. Like be casual, avoid all suspicion by climbing into bed together. I mean, either way it's going to shake everyone up because no one's going to see you. Yeah, but we know it was you, so the cameras will be keeping a close eye on you all night. Next, we meet up with someone in the show who goes by the name of Sean or Shan. I'm, I'm not exactly for sure, but they're a relationship expert. They ex Their expertise is relationships, and she decides that possibly it would be best for everyone to get into a BDSM style relationship tactic yeah i'm sorry something tells me chloe's about to cut you loose david ah right bad how is this fun for anyone i like this this is fun for me <laughs> yeah yeah it, it was kind of funny because like of course they got to do something bizarre just to really get the ratings up on the tv show so whenever they were partnering people up in this little exercise because they want everyone to you know be, be ready to go and you, you know they, they know some of them were really interested in each other uh, you, you know like Rhonda and uh, Sharon and then uh, uh, um, Francesca and Harry oh god there's so many people there's so many names there's so many names yeah when, whenever they see those uh, couples like you know mess around and stuff they're like yeah let's go ahead and pair them up and they decided to put Francesca and Harry back together even though they had a falling out because Harry's a dumb piece of shit the only person who does not get it though of course is Haley what's it called Shibology Shibari Sabari Shibari 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 what's the word Sabaro well finally we get to see the talking air freshener let us know about Oh, someone had kissed. If anyone's like broken the rules, you know you've broken the rules. I feel disappointed. You know the bill's gonna come through. I'm just waiting for the bill to come through. If you have, you might as well just own up now. I'm in shock right now. Like, this is crazy. We should win an award for our acting skills. Oh, I don't know any way that this could have happened. I have no idea. The most important thing here is being honest and to admit and own up to when we fuck up. If it isn't them, who is it? I, I, I don't like this. I, I don't like this at all. Like, that, that that's really messed up that you would pin the blame on them. I'm fucked. I'm over this. I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah, let's just. I, I'm over this. I, I, I can't. You, you wanna go? I mean, we're the ones who caused this, but we're, like, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Like, everybody is gonna be looking at us next. Well, don't worry. Jesus man is on the case. He's going to figure this out and he 
has actually got a very A tier or S tier actually fucking plan. I feel like it is my responsibility to shed light on the skeletons in this closet. It's just about openness, honesty. <laughs> what is going on? What is happening? <sighs> Whoever did it, this is your opportunity now to have just an inkling of I honesty. I mean it. Because otherwise it's gonna come out in a much different way, which is only gonna make you look bad. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> he's not playing around. He's like, look, Lana, you and me, we have this connection, don't we? Come on, you're gonna tell us, right? God, the suspense is killing me. I don't want Lana to fuck me over. Affirmative. I couldn't believe that this would happen. Like, someone would just lie like this. How could they? How dare they? This bunch of misfits aren't the only people that need Lana's help. Unleash sexed up single number 11. Oh my word! But will this clueless Casanova embrace a lust-free life in the retreat? He, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not trying to be too disrespectful, but this guy looks goofy as shit. I'm sorry. He does. He is completely clueless. He has no idea what the rules are. He, he was just sent there and he's just like, all right, people are already here. Just jump in. Whatever they're doing, just jump in and do it. And they're just like, oh shit. And then on top of it, this dude doesn't care. He, he's like, I'm going to fuck until I die. I do it every day, and it's not going to stop now. You are not stopping my 25-year streak, or I don't, I don't know how old he is, but nor do I care. I'm from Los Angeles. I live on my boat in Marina Del Rey. When the boats are rocking, don't come and knocking. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, he, he's he's going to be very disappointed except for the fact he doesn't care he even says it near the end of this episode he even says it he's just like wait these are all the rules the rules are meant to be broken this is the episode that it gets really interesting bryce and chloe might actually end up together at the end of this who knows Rhonda and Sharon aren't really talking. That's basically all that's going on with them. They don't really talk because Sharon doesn't really know how to communicate his feelings properly. And so he doesn't really, you know, convey that over to Rhonda. And so Rhonda is getting a little bit upset because she's not actually talking to Sharon and he's not opening up like he should. So she's just aren't the going only to be frosty couple to be put upset on ice. about it. Do you think you um, have ways someone tried to talk to Francesca? Nah, bro. Obviously, I'm not going to sit there and cut her out i would hate to leave here and know that we only gave it one shot me and francesca said that we're starting back at square one but i kind of want to be more than just best friends harry is just completely clueless as usual this dude is a goddamn moron he keeps saying like oh well she's gonna come back to me oh well i i, I had her right in my grasp like he even says it throughout this episode too he had her like right in his hold and then he just let her go and that's because he's a jackass and he doesn't know exactly how to treat women. So he's just like, you know, I know we're starting at square one and I really want to try and fix this relationship, but I want to be more than the best friend. Okay. I, I, I don't want, I don't want to be cock blocked. Like we could be friends, but I'm still going to fuck you. And the hugging exercise, people really enjoyed that. And they were supposed to guess the feeling. Most of them got it. Some of them didn't. Kells was getting with Francesca and Harry was getting upset about it. And Harry's been calling Kells like, oh, he's ugly as shit. Oh, he's ugly as shit, man. And he's trying to get with my woman. It, it, and what's really weird is that <laughs> she was never his woman in the beginning. He is just a goddamn moron. And he just wanted to bitch about something. So, yeah, it's it's bizarre. It is. <laughs> but, yeah, they go through the exercise. They uh, start getting dates. Rhonda and David got a date. Um, and then they get sex watches. As soon as the watch turns green, then they're permitted to do basically whatever they want. And there will be no repercussions and of course everybody is so excited about it is just don't get too comfortable with that the only people who actually got through a date properly minus david and Rhonda, they, they did okay they still had a connection but um francesca 
found out uh, or just like really thinking about it, she realized that Kells wasn't really the person for her. So she started pursuing Harry again, even though Harry was the one that kind of just made her upset at the beginning. But then she, for some reason, just can't get him out of his or her head. I don't know why. She's very confusing. She keeps going back and forth with this shit. I don't understand it. And then finally, Sharon and Rhonda have their date. He does not open up. Like, I don't, I don't know what else I can do. Come on, Sharon. Use what Lana's taught you. Before I came in here, I didn't think I was ever going to possibly fall for anybody else. It feels uncomfortable, but I like it at the same time. So what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to bow to you right now. I'm going to try to let my guard down. I'm going to try to communicate better. I'm going to try to trust even though it's like one of the hardest things for me in the world to do. So if you're down, I'm down. There is one thing that I have to tell you guys. I'm going to keep it a buck fifty with you. I am so tired of watching this show. I'm only at the fifth episode. But I realized I couldn't take it anymore. It, it's, it, it was so bad and cringy that I cannot physically force myself to watch any more of it. It's so painful because... You already know what's going to happen, and you already know the entire thing is cringe anyway, but for some reason, you kept wanting to like delve into it, and it's like, all they really did was add more people, pe people started switching attitudes, or wh whatever it may be, and all of them won money in the end, and the reason why that I'm a little bit frustrated with it, not only because, one, I saw what the ending was before <clears throat> watching the rest of the episodes, I don't really regret that, I kind of just wanted to get to the point already, but I'm upset about it because there are people who have gotten meaningful relationships from the show, but they don't treat it like they got meaningful relationships. They treat it like, oh, hey, we're pieces of shit. Now we're less pieces of shit, but we did get more money out of it. Like, congratulations. Congratulations. I feel like that there was probably a little more of an important message in there. But the show really wanted to emphasize that they were going to get paid for their time there. I mean, they already had all their expenses paid, all these classes and stuff. They had food. They had champagne. They had beds and showers and all this stuff. They had everything in there. And literally the only thing that was the major highlight of it was everybody got $7,500 a piece. Everyone's like, well, I may or may not have gotten someone, but at least I got $7,500. Like, come, come on, man. If you guys want to watch this show for yourself, then you are more than welcome to do it. It's available on Netflix. Just watch it for yourself. There's more seasons of it, but I physically cannot do it for you. I just wanted to give a basic synopsis of what the beginning was, but I couldn't even finish the beginning season myself because it was just so bad, and I could not take any more of it. <laughs> I'm just glad that I at least got through as many episodes as I did. Hey, look, that's that's surprising for me. I don't watch TV anymore, so that's a big thing for me. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, take a look at it for yourself if you want to see it, and like and subscribe, and press the bell, and there will be more videos there will be more videos. Okay, bye-bye.